It has been a screaming hot summer and this is my comparison of five different cooling vests. Not all cooling vests are created equally and a couple of these guys I've had for years. One of them I swear by, a couple, eh, they're okay. A couple other ones are kind of weird, but you got to check them out uh, because they're all different designs. Uh, we got an evaporative vest, which works on a totally different principle than the other ones. We got a couple ice vests. We've got an air circulation vest. No doubt, I've never heard of this thing, but air circulation vest, man, it's funky. And then we've got a, a water circulation vest. Uh, that's pretty common. There are a lot of vests that use water circulation or some other kind of coolant to circulate. Kind of like antifreeze in an engine, only it's like the human engine. I work outside year round and in the summer, I suffer a little bit like everyone else, but I've also got some health issues. So a few years ago, I just availed myself of these cooling vests. I was like, you know, why suffer when you can cool off? So I tried a bunch of them and I tried a ton of other cooling products. You know, like every kind of neck wrap and head covering, just everything you could find. People now send me cooling vests, like, you know, check this out. So anyway, I've got a bunch of cooling vests and I thought it would be advantageous to you to check them out. All right, then the last thing I gotta say about these vests before I show you each one, and I'm just gonna go through them one at a time. The last thing I gotta say is that I'm a bit of a skeptic when it comes to the cooling vest. And I was actually talking to a research crew uh, from MIT, like a bunch of guys, MIT students, they thought, you know, we're gonna make a million dollars and design a new cooling vest. So I was talking to those guys on the phone. They were asking me my, my opinion about it or whatever. And the more I talked to them, the more skeptical I got. So at the end of this video, I will tell you what I see as like the intrinsic problems with the cooling vest. I'm not saying they all totally suck, but they have some inherent problems, like some things they cannot get away with. All right, on to the cooling vest themselves. All right, so here's the first of the cooling vests. This is the evaporative vest. This one I've had the longest. It's also the cheapest. And I'm just gonna say right off the bat, in my opinion, it's kind of the best. Uh, it's lightweight, you can carry it around. It's kind of most like a piece of clothing in comparison to all these other vests. And it works pretty well. It's not perfect, but anyway, it works pretty well. So the deal with this guy is that it's pretty much just a vest, you know, like, like a cheesy looking vest. And it looks almost like it's kind of insulated or whatever, but this material is kind of like a diaper. <laughs> that's all, that's the only thing I can say about it. It's kind of like a water absorbent diaper. So I'm gonna go to the garden, which is where I use this thing all the time, and get this baby soaked, and then you can see how it works. All right, so in this form, this does you no good. It's actually probably warmer than just like wearing a t-shirt or whatever because, you know, it's a little bit thick. Not very thick, but a little bit thick. But the deal with this, this evaporative vest is that you soak it in cold water. That's like step number one. Soak this guy in cold water. All right, if you really wanna go crazy with an evaporative vest, you can soak it in ice water. That's because this thing cools you two ways. Uh, number one, it's got cool water. So just the water itself is cool. Uh, but number two, you kind of wring it out just a little bit, not too much, because you want the water in there. And you can see that it doesn't really drip because it's got that kind of diaper thing going on. So. You put this baby on and then what happens is that it's almost like you've got constant perspiration going on because this has a water mass to it that is constantly evaporating and as that water mass warms up from your body like your body heat dissipates through the water that evaporates all right so that's the principle of the evaporative vest you put it on it just kind of feels kind of cool, you know, it feels kind of cool and it stays kind of cool feeling until everything evaporates. We kind of let the uh, squash go just a little bit long this year. All right, so uh, the evaporative vest has a couple of problems, you know, just like straight up shortcomings, no doubt about it. Uh, problem number one, if it's high humidity, this thing's not gonna evaporate. It's just gonna stay wet and cool, which feels good, but it's not gonna be 
dissipating any water by drying out. So it really wants to be in a dry climate. It's really designed for a dry climate. Uh, the other thing is that if you don't get it just right, like if you don't get the water amount just right, it'll soak your shirt and just make you wet. You know, you're just putting on a big old sloppy sponge. If it's too wet, and if you wring it out too much, it doesn't work that well. All right, so I think you kind of got my perspective on this evaporator vest. It's like my favorite vest. I like it. It's easy to carry around, easy to use. You can keep recharging it throughout the day. You don't need ice and ice water or anything like that. I just dunk it in the sink and it's back in action, cool me off. But it has limitations. It's not great. It's not like the best thing ever, but it's pretty good. All right, the next vests I'm gonna show you are all ice vests. And to see them, we gotta start out in the house, inside the freezer, uh, which is where you need to store an ice vest overnight or for a significant amount of time during the day to make them work at all. All right, so you can keep them in any freezer, but I just got them in my chest freezer. Uh, with these ice vests, one thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure they lay flat. If they don't lay flat, the ice ends up all crumply then you know, end up wearing this kind of crumply, uncomfortable uh, vest. Anyway, I've got three of these guys I'm going to show you. All right, let's just get this one out of the way first. It is the strangest of the designs of the ice vests, of the ones I've tried out. But it's kind of innovative and kind of cool. So give it a chance. You might like this one. Um, I've used it. I've got kind of mixed feelings about it. All right, you can wear this one of two ways. All right, that's option number one. Uh, my wife calls it the bro. It's sort of like instead of a bra, it's a bro. But all the ice packs are right back here. It's all on your back. So you've got ice packs, ice packs all the way around. And that's it. The front, no ice packs, nothing up here. It's all just kind of broed out. Uh, I don't wear it this way. It just, it just seems kind of funny. I'll show you the way I actually wear it. All right, so that's the actual way that I wear this thing. Uh, it makes it pretty unnoticeable that you've even got a cooling vest on. And one of the big challenges with these vests is that all of them look pretty dorky. I mean, every one of these cooling vests, it's not like, it's just not like a cool item of clothing. I think that's like, that's like the, the common thing they all share. But this one, if you wear it on the inside of your clothes, it's almost like you just have a little man girdle on, whatever. I think this company, to be fair, has a white version and a dark version, but I just got the white version. All right, so uh, pluses is that it's actually pretty minimal. Now, a lot of these other vests, they've got so much fabric, and you'll see that, that they kind of warm you up. Whereas this guy just has the ice packs right back here. On the downside, it just has the ice packs right back here. So it doesn't have as much ice as the other ice vests, but it's got it where it counts. You know, it's cooling you off back here where you've got a lot of uh, circulation. Uh, now, I've practiced this, and I don't know if I can do it, but I'm gonna try to take this guy off without taking my shirt off. It's kind of like one of those tricks you've seen people do, and you've always wanted to be able to do it. No way, that's not right. Okay, you gotta do this first. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it's coming. I'm stuck. There we go. All right, so uh, this guy up close, really thin fabric, four or five kind of thin uh, ice packs on there, and Velcro in the front, and a couple of these uh, boingy boingy bra straps on top. This is Therm Apparel. I'll put links down below to all this stuff. Uh, if you click on any of the Amazon links, I might even get like 0.025 cents. All right, now this cooling vest, this is another ice vest. This thing is old school. Uh, this is like one of the original ones I got maybe five or six years ago. And uh, this one, the downside I think is obvious already. It's like thick cotton. So sure you might get some cooling out of the ice and this baby is layered in ice. Like it's got ice on the front, ice on the back. You might get some cooling from that, but at the same time you're wearing like a big hot, thick canvas jacket. All right, this one, like a couple of the others, has all kinds of Velcro that you can use to customize your fit. I wear these guys really tight because I want the ice jammed up against my body. This one's got ice in the front, ice in the back, and it comes in a little bit short. 
I probably don't have it exactly adjusted right. I think if I open these guys up, I could probably lower it down. The cool thing about this ice vest is that it did come with a whole second set of ice packs. So if these guys get warm, you can pull your other set out of the cooler and restock. Another one of the downsides with ice vests, man, those things warm up, you know, after a couple hours, especially in the really warm heat, you know, like 90, 100 degrees, it warms up to the point where it's not useful anymore, you're done. There's no way to recharge it, refuel it, recool it, or anything like that. All right, I got one more ice vest. It might be the best of the ice vests. Check it out. All right, this one is from a company called Glacier Tech. Glacier Tech. In their literature uh, about the vest, they said something like, you know, you can dunk it in a cold mountain stream if you need to cool off. So they had a sort of like an outdoorsy glacier adventure vibe going on. But uh, already you might be able to see a couple of the benefits of this guy over that heavy duty canvas flak jacket I had, had on a second ago. Uh, really thin material, super thin material so it breathes. It also has the Velcro adjustments like the last one and a zipper up the front. All right, so like the other vest, I wear this guy tight and I'll show you some footage here. I've actually worn this on some jobs this summer and it's pretty good for like the first half hour or an hour, especially if you're not working too hard. If you start working really hard, like digging a hole or doing something really physical with one of these vests on, my personal experience is that you feel like you're hotter than if you didn't have it on, even though it's icy. And I think that's because of one of the intrinsic flaws of the cooling vest which I will talk about at the end of this video. I like this one the most. It's lightweight. I can wear it on the outside of my clothes so I'm not taking my shirt off and on to put my vest on. And it's rechargeable. I've got two sets of these cooling packs. And these guys are actually kind of big. Powered by pure temp. I don't know what this stuff is. Some kind of freezable goo that's not water but it's also not antifreeze. And you know, they just slide into these pouches on the inside. Like I was saying, they slide into these pouches on the inside and it feels pretty good. And for a vest, which has some limitations, it's not perfect. It's a nice vest after all, but for a vest, this one's not bad. All right, now for these last two vests, we're gonna go way deep into the 21st century, like super ultra modern, and you're gonna need a power bank for both of them. Some kind of power bank. This is some Mongo 2000 mega amp hour power, ban ba power bank. Uh, you could probably use a smaller one, but anyway, you're gonna need a power bank for these guys because these guys are powered. All right, so uh, the first one is a two-part mechanism. One is the shoulder bag, which I will show you and explain in a second. Just hold on, you'll figure it out. Uh, the second is the vest, and this is a lot more like a, uh, I don't know, like a piece of clothing. You know, it looks a little bit like a piece of clothing. Not necessarily the coolest thing ever, uh, fashion-wise, but you can see that it's got some stuff going on. I guess I should flip it inside out so you can really see it. This baby is hosed up. It's kind of like being wired up, but it's hosed up, and it has what I would just call like radiators in it. So it's got like an internal radiator on the inside, then the water, super chilled, ice water flows over here. It's got a radiator in the back and it's got a radiator on this side. There are, as I said, a lot of vests like this. This is one of the cheaper ones. Uh, someone sent me this as a sample, but I looked it up. I think it was like 150 bucks or 100 bucks or something like that. Like, All right, so on a hot day like this, first up, you put on a vest that seems almost like, <laughs> like, <laughs> It seems almost like a modern kind of fashion-y thing. You know, it's not like a piece of gear. But the exception is that you got some tubes sticking out and that's where the pack comes into play. All right, so what's in the pack? You're wondering what's in the pack. I'm gonna show you what's in the pack. All right, so in the pack is a big old bottle, kind of like a Nalgene bottle of uh, ice water. Got that full ice water, cranking ice water. It's got a couple of hoses. One's an intake, one is an outtake or whatever, so the water circulates. And uh, there's some valves on there. They send you some replacement valves. And then on the front here is a pocket where the pump is. And that is where my power bank is gonna go. So I got my power bank here. 
I've got an on off button here and I've got my USB. All right, so I've got my two hoses. It looks a little bit like a catheter, but whatever. I got my two hoses coming out. The hoses hook in here. And this guy's powered up. And then I just hit the switch. All right, so now it's pumping. And I wonder if you can see that. You can sort of see it right here that the, that the pump is working. All right, now, even though this contraption is kind of gimmicky, it gets kind of cheesy. I've got a big old like side pouch here, kind of like my oxygen tank or whatever. I got a USB. I'm telling you, the thing feels really good. Like it has this incredible, incredibly, incredibly cold kind of feeling and it gives you really good coverage. Those ice vests, there's something about the ice that's very static. Like it just kind of sits there almost insulating you while it cools you. But this one, you can just sort of feel it. Like the pump starts the water up here and this got really cold. Then it's cruising around your neck and that's getting really cold. And then this is getting really cold as the whole thing fills up. And then once it fills up, it's circulating all that ice water constantly. So there's nothing static about it. There's no melted side of the ice pack and unmelted side of the ice pack. The downside, there's always a downside with these guys. The downside is that you've got this and the whole thing is not designed for manual labor. So that's my bias. Like I wear these things because I like to work outside. I have to work outside. That's what I do. And I can't really do that with one of these guys on. However, I can go back to the truck put this on and chill out. I've talked to some people over the years who use cooling vests like when they ride a motorcycle or when they do something kind of uh, inactive, you know, like driving a car without AC or whatever. This thing's awesome for that reason. It's thin, it's very movable. You're not wearing a big old chunk of ice on your body and it feels pretty good. Uh, this one, this actual version might be on the lower end of the spectrum. If you threw down for a really gourmet one, I bet you'd really like it. All right, so you just gotta get ready for this. This is, this is something, this is something different, all right? All right, so this is my power cord. And like with the last one, I'm gonna plug it into my USB, power up, and then activate the fan. I'm not sure if this is the first ever fan-powered cooling garment, but it's the first one I've tried out. <laughs> All right, so my guess is that the intention is for those fans to like balloon this whole thing up, you know, just like really poof, blow it up. You got air circulation everywhere. It's like coming out your armholes and everything, but instead, what I feel is kind of like a faint vibratory rumble right above my backside. Just, just the slightest bit of wispy air maybe with those fans going. I mean, I can hear them and I can feel just like a little something, but it's not really doing it. All right, so those are my thoughts about those particular cooling vests. They've got some pros and cons. The last one, I just, I don't fully appreciate it. Like I'm not sophisticated enough to fully appreciate it. All right, but let me just say a few things in closing about what I see as kind of like the problem of the cooling vest altogether. All right, so I get the idea behind the cooling vest. You take your torso, which is, you know, like the part of your body that's like the biggest, hottest thing, and you try to cool that off. So you get a vest, you either use ice or evaporation or recirculating coolant or fans or whatever. And you take that vest and you attempt to cool off the torso. Now I get that, like, I, it, like that kind of makes sense. But the deal with the human body is that you have a cooling system built in and it doesn't work that great, which is why people like me kind of suffer in the heat. If you've got heat intolerance or even if you're just a regular human, it kind of sucks to be really hot, but you do have a cooling system built in and that cooling system is based on the surface area of your body being exposed to the air. That way, 
if when you perspire and sweat and get nasty that perspiration and sweat is going to evaporate and take some of the heat away all of these cooling vests kind of put the kibosh on that system like they all cover you up even the lightest ones if they're based on ice are basically packing you in a thick insulating material which is the ice while they attempt to cool you so all these vests are kind of they're working to cool you but in working to cool you they're kind of heating you up so there's sort of a trade-off there and if you like i said earlier if you are actually outside working on a hot day you are going to be generating so much additional heat that that cooling vest really can't handle it and in some ways not having it on can be better like in my experience because your basic built-in cooling system that your body has and you're born with can do a better job in some ways than a cooling vest all right the other problem is that a lot of these ice vests are packing you with ice and the inside of that ice cube is up against your skin and that's cooling you off and it feels pretty good it'll actually you know really chill you out but the outside of all that ice is just being melted by the air so a lot of these cooling vests you'll find on a really hot day they melt down in an hour sometimes less like they will really melt down quickly if you insulate them like if you were to to wrap a cooling vest in, in an insulating material that would solve that problem but it would also screw you up because you would have insulating material wrapping you like you'd be totally hot you'd be wearing a down parka that's why the new cooling vests are all made of like that cool max really thin breathable stuff it's nice, it's more breathable, it doesn't heat you up like those big old fashion cool cooling vests. Still, only like half of that ice is cooling you, just the inside portion of the pack, the rest of it is just cooling the air around you. All right, thanks for checking out my cooling vest roundup. I'm gonna go inside, drink some cold water, and put those ice vests back on ice. Hit me with a comment down below if you have your own experiences or thoughts about cooling vests, and I'll see you in the next video.